Hello, welcome back. It's now week five of the diploma course and we are doing collet settings this week, which again is another technique that is completely new to me and I've never tried it before. There are several different ways or several different techniques to do a collet setting, but the one that we've been taught involves some geometry and maths. Now, neither of these subjects are a strong point of mine, so this one could get interesting. So in theory, that's what I need. Okay, so I have done my geometry to work out the amount of silver I need for the collet setting, which is this little shady bit here. I still don't understand it and I'm not 100% sure I've done it right, but I do have some spare silver, so I'm gonna go ahead, cut this out and then shape it and just see if it is right or not, I guess. Okay, confidence level is low, but I do have plenty more silver so I can get at least another three or four settings out of this if it isn't quite right. Now apparently it doesn't matter quite so much if the top and bottom of this semicircle thing aren't quite level because we can do that after the collet is formed but it is crucial that the two sides are flush so I'm going to use the mitre jig just to sand those down. The ends of this are now nice and flush I hope and the next stage is to anneal it to make it soft so that I can then form it into a collet shape and solder it closed. Now it's annealed, I need to try and shape it to join those two ends together. How are we supposed to get that flush? This is really difficult. I'm genuinely not sure how I've managed to get these to meet. I think they're flush. I think the join is touching. Um, it's a bit mangled. It's giving me flashbacks to the gold project. I tried to get that ring made. I'm going to go ahead and solder it and then I can use the collet block to try and shape it and hopefully that'll give me some kind of indication as to if it's going to work or not. <laughs> Looks like a nice neat solder join but at this point I'm starting to feel this project really could go either way. Now I'm going to use the collet block to try and shape this mangled piece of silver into the collet setting. Okay, attempt number one, I can see when I put the stone in, this is way too big. So somewhere along the line, either my maths is wrong or I've managed to deform this to such an extent it's just not going to work. I've just rechecked my notes and it turns out I got my maths calculations a little bit wrong. I did say it wasn't my strong point. So I've had another go at drawing it and I'm gonna try and cut out another piece of silver and hopefully this time I'll get a better result. Okay, 